Hello, I would like to welcome you to today's webinar. And happy to introduce Chip Bueller and Harry Brelsford as today's speakers. Before we get started, just wanted to touch base on a couple, a couple housekeeping items. The webinar will be recorded, and I will be sure to get you an email within the next 24 to 48 hours on where you can replay the webinar. Also wanted to let you know that we encourage you to ask questions and to use the question feature within the um, webinar system. Now I'd like to hand it over to Harry Brelsford to get us started. Well, okie dokie. So thank you very much, Jenny. Hey, Jenny, it's really interesting this time of year, and I always thank our audience, first of all, for their time, and here's why. Um, we're uh, uh, SMB Nation's located out on Bainbridge Island, and it's a, a little bit of a summer community. And so, you know, it seems to be vacation week. A lot of boats anchored out there, and it's not just the weekend crowd, but but here it is Thursday, and there's a lot of boats still there. So the translation is is we're in the uh, the month of vacation, also known as the month of August. And I appreciate your time because the. Your time is very valuable, and I'm, I'm sure some of you are listening from the beach or a vacation site, so I appreciate it even more. Uh, we've been planning this webinar for quite some time. We've been in conversations with GFI since early June. So this is this is a big day, and, and GFI is making some moves in the industry that we're going to talk about today. Um, I want to highlight a couple of things. So before we get going, a little bit of housekeeping. If you are in the area, contact myself or Jenny offline via our website. My 13th annual SMB Nation picnic is next Thursday, a week from today, um, down on South Beach on Bainbridge Island. So everybody's welcome. We usually have about 50 to 100 island, and there will be some Microsoft program managers that you can mingle with. The other thing we have coming up is the fall conference is about 60 days away in Las Vegas. It's October 10th through 12th, and I really would like you to take a fresh look. It actually ties into today's webinar, and I'll tell you how. Take a fresh look at our content. We have invested more than ever in our content, a coolest company in the, uh, the world pathway. And a lot of the things that GFI is going to talk today, for example, are their, their product's a tool you can go to a new IT platform. So I, I, I just wanted to shout out and kind of connect the dots between today's topic and some content that we're presenting at the fall conference. Excuse me. <laughs> Chip. Okay, hey. Um, hey, I, I know <laughs> another Chip over in the Carolinas, Chip Reeves. Um, Chip, how you doing? You, you told me you're in the research triangle over I in am. Uh, North Carolina. So, sir, what we are. Thanks uh, for having us. I also have Jeff Hardy with me on my sales team. and. Uh, we're just going to go through some slides and just kind of bring you up to speed on who GFI is, um, what this new company we bought at ASO is about, and uh, what the technology is. We're really excited up space. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to kind of go through some slides, like I said. Um, so for those people that uh, aren't aware of who GFI software is, the world, and uh, England, Scotland, um, this uh, company right here that we're going to be talking about is in uh, the developments in Belarus, and the sales team was originally in Holland. So they're actually the number one um, backup. We're really excited to have them under our portfolio. If you haven't tried any of our software in the past, it's really uh, it's the full gamut of everything you need for an SMB market, um, right? So it's uh, archiving, security, web, networking, anything you need. And what the cool thing about it is, is that we've always what you're trying with us. So it's great. You know upfront what you're getting, and then you decide to purchase later on if, if it seems like the right fit for you. What's really kind of cool, and what we've gotten into in the last four years, is we've always had an on-premise solution. Set uh, about nine tools in all. Just a company in Scotland called uh, Hound Dog, which is now the GFI Max RM tool. We've purchased a company in uh, California called Catharian, which is now our Max Mail tool. We purchased um, some about Viper, Team Viewer, and the list kind of goes on. Um, but we're going to talk a little bit about the latest. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, our ability to focus on the SMB market space. So, I mean, that's what we do. Uh, we have an ever growing product family to focus on that SMB market space. And uh, we're really, we know that better than anyone. We look at 500 users and below, and that's, that's our focus. Uh, a lot of enterprise software companies try to play in this space. They don't understand the complexity and the fact that you have to make these products simple and easy to use. So why did we purchase ASO? That's a good question. And uh, that's the exciting part, really, is uh, we purchased this company, like I said. It's in the Netherlands, the headquarters, and in Belarus. And what we found about it, and we're going to talk about this, is it's uh, an excellent backup solution. And you're going to find it's the fastest backup solution on the market space right now. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the technology in a second here. But it's multi-platform, so you can uh, use it on Linux and Mac and as well as Windows. It's a cloud-based solution. Um, it is only sold to the channel. 
So it's a channel only product like all the Mac solutions. We don't sell those products uh, to end users. We focus on in particular the MSP market space. And uh, the biggest reason, like I said, we, per we made this purchase was very simple. Uh, True Delta technology, which we'll talk about. Jeff Hardy is going to hop on here and talk about in a little bit. Uh, secondly, as a very flexible, scalable architecture where a lot of the other backup solutions out there are limited. And um, it's been a proven uh, managed backup solution, especially in particularly in Europe, and now it's going to make a big play here in the States. And it has a very strong roadmap. Uh, the things that we talked today, six months from now, we'll be adding even more features and functionality to. So um, if you guys have suggestions or things you'd love to see in a backup solution, we're a very open company in hearing people's ideas and thoughts. So please feel free as we go along here. If uh, you have suggestions, we always take them under uh, consideration. So I'm going to kind of hand things over to um, Jeff Hardy here. He's going to talk a little bit about, you know, what is IASO or was IASO and now is GFI Max Backup, and what's that all about, and how is that different from some of the other backup solutions you might be running into? Hey, thanks, Jeff. Um, it, it's that that it just works a little bit different than the others, and and I mean, it's it's just one of those products that you can tell that the reason why GFI acquired this company is because they just do things a little bit differently and better. Um, it's faster results. I mean, think about it like this. I mean, it's, it, it takes a little longer for the actual process itself on the machine, but the actual data goes up even faster. So um, you can almost think of it um, like a grocery store scenario. Um, you've got uh, individual groceries versus things in a bag. So, you know, uh, other solutions, it's kind of like them going to buy their groceries, they bring them home, and then they take them into the house one thing at a time. Then they go out and get another one, come back, go out and get another one. Well, the way that our product works is similar to that um, when you bag your groceries. So instead of uh, bringing those groceries in uh, one at a time, we actually put them in what we call a cabinet. But we're just going to say bags for now, just for the simple fact, uh, as far as the grocery analogy. And we bring those in um, in, in those bags. Um, it, think of it, we call that data preprocessing. So hey, what Jeff. we do is we actually, I'm sorry? Yeah, Jeff, do you mind if I uh, just draw a quick analogy on the uh, the grocery bag thing? I I, 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 I told you I told you I'm going to interrupt and annoy you today. So <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. We'll let you slide it in. It's been ten minutes, but you know, SMB Day, we're we're a long time community, and we like to have a little bit of fun each week. So um, I, I I can't resist. First of all, that is a that's a great analogy to explain the concept. But second of all. Did you know Jennifer Hallmark on this call, her parents are managers of the local grocery store here on Bainbridge Island, and they no longer give you bags. You have to bring your your, your, your conference bag, your GFI conference bag. <laughs> oh, nice. So they don't even so allow other kinds of bags in there, I understand. No, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you can't have plastic, and you got to pay a nickel for paper, and now everybody carries bags. And the joke is this. The, the truth to humor is this, is that, you see more technology conference bags in grocery stores now because what, what do you do with those things, right? What do you, what do, you do with that animated character of yours on the bag? Right, <laughs> you, right. you stuff your groceries. But all right, Perfect. annoyance done. Let's get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love you, Harry. Yeah, I like, I'm glad to know that we're a part of your existence. So that's good stuff. I like that. So, um, you know, on fat, past the groceries. So uh, in reality, data preprocessing, that, that's really what we're doing is, is we're able to take small files and kind of package those up into little cabinets, if you want to call that, and, and small bundled files. Um, and what we actually do is take the larger files that are blockable, and then we break those down um, so that way they can be sent over the wire uh, even faster. So that's where that speed comes from. Um, like I said, the big files are sectioned off, so that works well for that. Um, and, and of course, that's when they're transferred uh, is those packages. It, now for the discovery. All right, so this is another thing that's different about our technology. Um, basically, uh, what we do is uh, we we look through the the entire tree uh, from files and folders, uh, including all the way down to the block, and uh, we put a hash uh, on every single one of those. And, and it may not be the hash that some of you guys are thinking about because they right. did mention it's from Holland, right. but um, it, it is um, a hash. So um, we, we put a, a number or a hash on each one of those. So that way we can record to see where changes were. So if there's a file or a folder that, that we, we don't need or, or if it didn't change, we don't need to send that. So we don't send that twice, so there's no wasted effort. Um, Deduplication. Um, not sure if you guys are aware or understand what that means, but um, 
but deduplication is pretty strong uh, in the fact that we don't send that file twice. Uh, and then again, that block hash as well. So um, if you've got a file that, that made one small change on it, but everything else was same, the same on that file, we only send that block up. We don't send the entire file again, you know, because if you're talking about an SQL database, uh, that could get quite expensive if you're sending that database up every day just because the name of the file changed. We don't send that. We literally just send the name of the file, and that's it. Um, you can think of it like this, um, true delta. It, it's, uh, it's the way that our backups uh, work. Um, so you have, uh, let's just say, for example, here on day one, you've got eight blocks. And then let's say um, on day two, um, block two and block eight change. You see? And uh, now we have block nine and block ten. So now we've got ten different types of blocks that we've been able to do backups or versions of. Uh, same thing, day three, you see where nine did not change, ten did not change, but we added number 12. So now we've got, um, uh, and then there's also a number 11 that's right there in the middle, so four changed to 11. So now we've got 12 different versions that we could go all the way back to one or somewhere in between if we needed to get different parts of the file. So, so if you've got the base um, of, say, day one file, we only need to send you, if you need day two, we only send you that change for nine and ten, so it's going to be a faster restore. Um, so, and also the backup itself would be faster as well because we're only sending up those two blocks. Uh, the same thing with day four. Um, had a few more changes here. Um, matter of fact, you know what? What happens if you want to go backwards? Let's go back to day two, for example. Uh, what you're going to see is, is that uh, we're only going to send block 11 and block 13 from four so we can go back to block two, day two. So uh, as you can see, that's why faster restores, that's why we claim we're going to be the fastest on the market, is because we're not restoring an entire file. We're not sending up an entire file. We're only sending and restoring what changed. So we can get you guys back on, back working again um, when you needed to use that. Uh, effective speed, matter of fact, it, it's, um, it can exceed up to five gigabytes a minute. That's as fast as a DVD um, a, a minute. So, um, I mean, you know, to just, just give you an idea of how fast that can be. Um, also, encryption. Um, I don't know if you guys are, uh, even care about encryption, but, but we have it anyway because we know that, that there's some of our clients that are in the medical vertical um, that uh, need things of this nature. So um, we have encryption, as you can see, uh, encrypted at all times, at rest and in transit. So that works out well. And then on top of that, there's also an additional security code that, uh, that Max Backup does not even know. So it's something you created when you create your, your backup. So um, that's even something that, that you know, makes it uh, deniable storage, if you want to call it that. So that way it's even more secure So for your customer's uh, peace of mind, if you want to call it. Um, well, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it or not, but uh, there's a, um, a technology or an industry standard that is uh, soon to be, if not already, uh, it's called disk to disk to cloud technology. So uh, it's basically, uh, would you want it on site? Would you want it online? Why choose? You know what? Let's have both, that disk to disk to cloud. What it is, is you basically enable this on your local um, side, either through a NAS or through an external drive or even a, a local drive, if you want to do that directly on the machine, that you would basically uh, have the opportunity to have a mirrored copy of what you have in the cloud locally. And the whole goal or the reason why you would want that is for restores. You want to make those restores as fast as possible. Obviously, if you're downloading over the wire, it's only going to be but so fast, depending on the size of your pipe. But if you're restoring that from, um, from a local drive within your network, I'm sure that it's going to be much, much faster. And then, you know, worst case scenario, the building's burned down. You still got that option in the cloud, so you still got available. Um, and then, of course, there's the option of do you want this product uh, integrated into um, to a, a dashboard with uh, other pieces of the product? Or do you want to have this uh, dedicated as a standalone? Because uh, GFI does have two versions or two options on the backup side. Uh, we have what they call managed online backup, where it actually uh, you're able to run and deploy and manage this out of your GFI Max remote management dashboard. So where Chip mentioned the Hound Dog product earlier, uh, this is actually the ability to deploy and manage that out of that dashboard. And then, of course, you know if you've got customers that um, Maybe they, um, they, they have a few different additional needs, or maybe they don't need monitoring. Maybe they don't need your Max Remote Management Dashboard, but they still need backups. So you can have that ability to do that as well. 
or maybe you guys aren't even um, strong enough or feel like you need to be in the MSP space, but again, you still need to have backups and, and you can centrally manage that out of one console. Um, Chip, so uh, gentlemen, yes. yeah, gen gentlemen, just a little housekeeping. We're uh, about a quarter of the way through the webinar. I want to remind people that you can use the chat feature to ask questions. And um, we'll ask those questions at the end, is, is, is my understanding, because we've got a lot of material to cover. We've already got a few questions lined up, so use the chat feature to ask those questions. And here's the good news. At the end of the webinar, um, we will be giving away to one lucky attendee who's present the BlackBerry the Z10 phone. So that's a pretty good motivation to, to, to not skip school. <laughs> please, please continue, gentlemen. Absolutely. All right. So, um, so basically, um, some of the differences between the two. So, I'm not sure if uh, as many of you guys are as familiar with the GFI Max Remote Management product. So, basically, when I'm saying Max Mob, that's where I'm talking about. I'm talking about managed online backup, and then of course, Max Backup is our standalone product. So, um, as you can see, we've got a side by side comparison here. Um, as far as reporting goes. Uh, it's fully integrated into that Max uh, remote management dashboard. And then as far as on the YASO or the Max backup side, uh, reporting is dedicated in the YASO CMC. Uh, now it's been rebranded as Max backup. Um, as far as the core management through the dashboard, uh, that's supplemented by the backup manager. So um, basically what you're doing is uh, you're deploying that backup manager from the agent that is already on your customer's machine and then you have the ability to manage that out of your remote management dashboard. So it, it basically it saves you that one pane of glass if you have the ability to uh, run that and need that type of capability. And then like I said before, if you don't need that, at the same time you've got that ability to run the uh, Max backup uh, with the backup manager and, and again be able to um, take care of that product through that uh, CMC, the Cloud Management Console. Um, they're both based on the same type of uh, a pricing model. We both uh, based it on the selected size. So it doesn't matter what's been sent to the cloud. It's all about what you selected. Um, and then, of course, um, you know, the high-level daily status email versus um, the detailed status email. So depending on how often or how much, how much granularity you need on the uh, reporting side, um, as far as emails, um, you, you can get that ability there as well. Um, as far as um, the uh, the backup managers themselves, they look very similar. Um, basically, you know, color changes and a few bells and whistles. Um, mainly, you know, the, the tree selections, like I mentioned before, we put those hashes on there so they can find out which um, which files changed. And then, of course, that exclusion filter, which is pretty awesome. That uh, you have the ability to exclude. Maybe you need to exclude an MPEG or, or an AVI or or maybe you're even excluding your VOB files so that if you ever did any backups of uh, DVDs. That um, that you wouldn't have to you know necessarily back those up because they can get large, uh, you know I don't know maybe seven seven gigs a, a piece, and uh, unless they're willing to pay for it, I'm sure you don't want to send that to the cloud. So uh, you're able to do the exclusions on that. So you're only sending important files and uh, you know crucial files that they'll need uh, you know were a disaster or if they need to go backwards uh, with their files. So um, also uh, the schedules you have the ability to do scheduling. Um, you know we just did an estimate that. You could basically run a schedule, uh, basically one a minute. So you could probably set up uh, 1,440 uh, uh, schedules a day uh, of different file data sources. Uh, I don't know if you'd really need that, but you know there is that ability to do it. So you know as long as your machine itself could handle that many backups running at once. Um, and then of course uh, the the one thing that's uh, differentiated between Mob and uh, the Max Backup is that there is, you do have the ability to um, basically kick off the backup if the backup was missed when the machine was offline. Um, and, and you can have that ability. That isn't available on the Max backup yet. Um, wouldn't shock me at all if they added that in there because that is a nice feature to have. Um, bandwidth throttling, of course, uh, you have the ability to, um, you know, let your customers work. So that, it, you know, if they're needing to work those backups, they can have it, you know, take up less system resources or space of, as far as the pipe goes while it's trying to upload or download. Um, and then, of course, you know, you can even set it up to uh, run full throttle on the weekends if you like. Um, local speed vault, that's uh, the huge thing we've been talking about, where the disk to disk to cloud technology, that local speed vault gives you that ability to create a local file path to uh, have that local speed vault, which is one of those disks that we have that we're mentioning. 
um, exchange support, of course, uh, SQL, uh, system state. Uh, you know, basically all you would need to do is um, you're one step away of having that image-based uh, backup. Uh, all you would need to do is install the operating system and, uh, you know, restore the backup manager uh, to that particular uh, machine, and then you can have the ability to, um, you know, bring that back to that restore point with your system state backup. So that's pretty crucial. Uh, network shares, like I said uh, before, if it's map drive or or something, uh, maybe it's a NOS like I have at my own house. I have a NOS hanging off the, uh, you know, hooked up to my router. So I have the ability to literally back up to my NOS and back up my NOS as well. So I don't, I'm not backing up the entire NOS because that would be kind of redundant and silly. But, but yeah, you have that ability for network shares. So that's one differentiator between uh, us and other products that, you know, there's some backup solutions out there that don't have that ability. So, you know, this way you have that ability to not back up that NOS. Um, no, VMware support. There, 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 there's something just wrong about having a uh, uh, a NAS inside your house. I'm not going to let that slide by. I can't. That's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like technology. All right. Yeah. It's for the family right. pictures. It's for the family pictures. That's what it's for. There you yeah. go. There you go. You got yeah, a big family. Pictures. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they got big pictures. There you go. There yeah, the go. pictures are huge. Um, and then, of course, uh, we have the ability to back up VMware and, and SharePoint and Oracle. But what's uh, nice about the Max backup is uh, this gives you a few more um, bullets for your arsenal, if you want to say. Um, we have the uh, virtual drive technology so that you have the ability to open up a map drive on your computer so that you have the ability to restore um, files and folders directly as if it were a, um, a map drive on that particular machine. So that's, that's pretty huge. Um, that's definitely a differentiator in uh, technology. Uh, we also that have that Hyper-V support um, where you've got that, you know, on top of the VMware support. So whatever virtualized environment you guys have, that you have the ability to do that, uh, that backup of the uh, VMDK or that uh, Hyper-V file. Um, also, uh, MySQL. You know, of course, uh, we can do SQL and MySQL. So, again, uh, that. And then, of course, like Chip mentioned earlier, Linux and that Mac support. So uh, I, I'm sure that the reason why you guys stayed on this um, call were just, was just to hear me talk, but um, we also have uh, pricing as well. Um, so. Uh, And there it is. Sorry, I, I, I'm not too good with these computers here, so Chip had to help me out a little bit. Yeah. Um, I, I think I'm going to hand that back over to uh, Mr. Beeler. Cool. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for talking about the technology a little bit. Um, the pricing is based on selected size, so it's, uh, you know, we start at 50 gig, but I'd uh, love to just talk to you guys really more about the technology, things like that, and uh, in particular, where you can sign up for a trial. Um, but in conclusion, um, just kind of wanted to sum up some stuff before we start taking questions and things like that um, about the technology and why it's different and why it's faster and all that kind of stuff because I think Jeff went into a, a pretty good detail on that but um, what we're finding really is that it's a combination of two things that make us a little more unique than what you're going to see in the average um, and that smarter technology results in uh, a faster backup. So it starts just as uh, Jeff had said at the discovery level in the fact that we do use a, a hash technology that's very unique. Um, it then continues on to the dedupling um, part of the solution of which, you know, we're only uh, uploading the changed files based on a hash, right? And uh, then, you know, it moves on. So if we're going to, you know, oops, there we go. Um, you know, we only look at the block hash level, so we're not looking at the timestamp, things like that, et cetera. And then it continues on to, you know, what we talked about with Jeff was talking about with the grocery bag analogy, right? So it's a pre-processing. So we only put up, um, we basically put everything into bags or cabinets is what we call it, in, that are eight megabytes or less. So we're only sending that information up, not one gigantic pipe that's uploading all the time. So that way we were able to do faster upload speeds. Um, and the other analogy that I thought was kind of unique and a pretty a PowerPoint slide for a dev that part of the fun from Merriman or are we just do I hear angels from heaven? I think uh, I think this might have came from heaven. Yeah, it's, it's amazing stuff here. Not quite sure uh, we might be having a little bit of technical difficulty here. Yep, yep, we might have uh, uh, <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, it almost feels like intermission in a, uh, <laughs> intermission yeah. in the theater or something. Um, well, I'll tell you what, Chinny.
think if, uh, I'll try to, I'll tell you what I'm going to try to do is, is um, hang up and call right back. Okay, if well, we should time. be okay. It might, it might be, uh, Ginny, can you check in the control room that you're not on hold, please? Um, it's not me. I'm, I'm calling okay, other Chinny. people on our team to see. Okay, thank you, Ginny. Well, that is uh, wonderful music. Folks, while we're resolving the sound issues, I have a lot of questions queued up. I'll talk loudly. If you could go ahead and use the chat feature to uh, ask your questions, and we're going to queue those up just a minute or two from now. We're at the bottom of the hour. You're listening to the GFI Max webinar, and very quickly, we're going to be picking the grand prize winner for the BlackBerry Z10 phone as a show of appreciation for you attending. So, um, Chip, maybe maybe if your site could do a quick redial, and uh, I'll do a little bit more housekeeping, and we'll go from there. Kind of feel like I'm going to my dentist. In this chair. <laughs> Bell and your cell phone on the call. Can you just tell me your comment? Hello. Okay. We're all we're live. Back. Yeah, I think we're, we're live. Back. Oh. Oh. It's okay. stuck for it's a minute. Stuck. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, I'll tell you what. We're we're all in technology. We just know how it goes. Uh, if, if you guys are game, I'm game. Let's plow through quickly. Got about ten questions queued up. Is the focus of this presentation on the backup tool that is already available is a feature with I don't believe that's so. Chip? Welcome to go to Welcome to go to webinar. Web events made easy. If you can stand guard for a second, I'll call back in. I'll, I'll, I'll. Sounds good. Okay, here we go. Welcome to GoToWebinar, web events made easy. Jenny, this is Harry. I'm back again. I think we've all redialed in, and the hold music is still there. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this then. Here, gentlemen. Here's what I would recommend: is let's go ahead and answer these questions up on email um, as part of our thank you email that will go out. This, uh, the hold music is a little overwhelming, and uh, we'll also announce the winner of the BlackBerry Z10 up on email. So to have uh, the most pleasant experience we can. So with that said, um, Ginny, uh, why don't we go ahead and bring this webinar, bring it home, and gentlemen, I'll get those questions right over to you if we can get a, uh, a, a, a quick Q&A going with you, and we'll email those. I'm here. One, two, three. I'm here. Testing one, two, three. Jenny? I'm here. We got the hold music off. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, we just had to threaten. Okay. So that's, it always works that way. Well, let's, folks, we're back on track. Whoo! Never at all moment at SMB Nation. So um, here we go. Is there a Canada-only data center option? Gentlemen, a, a Canada-only data center option. There is a Canada only data option. Um, we do have a data center in Toronto, I believe. I have to go check that one, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a perfect option. Okay. Okay, great. The next question uh, is one I was trying to ask a little earlier, and it is, is the focus of this presentation on the backup tool that already is already available as a feature within GFI Max? Yes, it is. And there's some similarities and differences as we showed on the one slide I can kind of go back to here. 
Um, but yes, it is the same technology. Um, we OEM'd it at first into our GFI Max RM solution. We had uh, such a positive response from it that we just went ahead and bought the company and then offered it as a standalone product as well as something that's in the Max RM solution. Sounds like sound, there's a hair club ad in there somewhere. You liked it so much you bought the company. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Or Schick Razors. I think it all started with Schick Razors out of Boston, but uh, you get the point. Um, all right, folks, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna continue to have fun. Um, next question. A lot of questions. Uh, I really want to use this tool, but the price per gigabyte GB of storage when I last looked was much higher than competing project pr products. The individual goes on to cite Carbonite and Mosey, et cetera. It's, it, it's a fair question. How how do you respond to the price issue? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a good uh, discussion to have. We'd be happy to have it with anyone and compare apples to apples um, as far sure. as what they're doing, as far as what we're doing. So sure. um, this is, that's a question that I'd love to have, a one-on-one -on -one conversation with anybody who's, who's, uh, who might be running into that. I think that's entirely appropriate. Um, the next question is, we are a GFI Max partner. And we sell a little. Uh, we sell a little of the backup solution. Period. It it's hard to tell our clients how much this solution will cost because it's very hard to estimate how much backup they need. How do we do well, this? And that's why we went to the selected size, right, versus the actual use size, because you're determining based on what you select. So then you know right away. It's not. It's not. You're not having to sit here and say, oh, well, it compressed by so much, or etc. Because Actually, originally when we launched the mob product, we launched it based on use, right? And people were saying just that. They were saying, well, you know, I don't know what it's going to compress down to, so I don't know what to build my client on a monthly basis. So uh, we then switched over to the selected uh, size, and people have been a lot happier because, again, you just, you're just you determining, you know, if you want to select, you know, four terabytes of data, then it's four terabytes of data, not the four terabytes of data compresses down to. Perfect, perfect. Next question, is this software HIPAA compliant? Yes, it is. Um, actually, we've done a lot of work around um, HIPAA, and um, we're, we have a panel at our conference in September here we're looking forward to, and as well as we have a uh, BAA that we'd be happy to sign with anyone out there. We also, uh, the way that the software works, and we can kind of get into anybody that, that wants to have a further conversation on HIPAA about it, but um, it comes down to, you know, who has the key and who has access to that PHI information. So uh, we have a setup in which uh, the, only the, the MSP themselves would have that key to get access to that PHI information. So between the BAA and the, and the encryption around it, um, we are definitely HIPAA compliant. Or sure. we can never make you or anyone HIPAA compliant, but we can certainly head in the right direction. Okay, what's the name of the artist on the hold music now? <laughs> exactly. There you go. Yeah, Yami maybe. There we go. There you go. Does this support file versioning? Yes, it does. Okay. Well, that was easy. Then the next one, can USB attached drives be backed up? I'm sorry, say that again? Can USB attached drives be backed up? Absolutely. Uh, all you need is the backup manager running and um, and the ability to be able to see it and view it. So um, they could be shown up uh, under directly. In fact, it'll show up under files and folders. So absolutely. Okay. Okay. Great. And then uh, Canadian data centers. We already answered that. Again, uh, for, forgive me, folks, but we have a, a queue of questions, so I can appreciate there's a little bit of repetition. Um, giving our sequencing. So the next question that's unique, we have tried Max MOV or MOB, but have many virtual Hyper-V systems out there. Will it support Hyper-V in the future? Um, well, uh, since uh, GFI has acquired the ASSO product, uh, it only makes sense if you look at the ASSO product or the Max backup product and go, yep, there's our roadmap. So, that was the thing about their strong roadmap is uh, you would have the ability to, you know, have that ability to have the managed online backup product be a mirror image of the max backup. So, uh, 
So yeah, absolutely. I don't have a time frame on that, but you know, we just acquired the company, uh, you know, a couple of months back. So, but yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, let's get those developers working weekends again through the summer. Um. <laughs> yeah, we got to have uh, we'll go ahead and put them in NIST right now. <laughs> there you go. Um, next question, uh, does it have or support bare metal restore? Um, at the moment, no, but at the same time, it is on the roadmap to have the ability to uh, spin up one of your virtual um, machines uh, in the cloud. Uh, we haven't got the uh, details worked out completely, but it should be ready to go up in the next couple months. So um, at least it have the ability to, um, to pop that out. Okay, great. And then I think you, you I, I believe you covered this, but, but the, the question has arisen, which means there's a need to, to know again. What is the pricing model? So, uh, you know, never get tired of that question. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, more than they want to pay and less than we want to accept. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's, uh, it's only 50 cents a gig to start, and uh, there's graduated volume discounting that uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, with more, more uh, gigabytes that are available or that you guys select. And uh, okay. it's, uh, it's not even paid up front. It's actually uh, we bill in arrears, so that way they don't have to um, import uh, something they're not using yet. Even better, even better. My goodness. Um, thank you, thank you for showing that slide, folks. While that, uh, uh, while, while the further information slides up, um, we've gone through about a dozen questions. So this is the first call for final questions. I'll give you a second to type those in. So this is the first call, kind of like a charity auctioneer auctioning off a golden retriever puppy. So this is call number one for final bids. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and give call number two at this point. Looks like we may have cleared the deck on questions. Great crowd today. And I'm going to slowly give call number three is people should or would or could be typing um, as we uh, start to wrap up the webinar. So we do have, I'll go ahead and do the winner at this time, and um, if any more questions pop in, we'll talk about that. But uh, the uh, random number generator, the wheel, has picked Mark DeHaven. So Mark DeHaven, sir, you win a BlackBerry Z10 mobile device. You'll be, uh, our office will reach out to you because we'll need to have a conversation about what carrier for the phone you would like. Phones are carrier specific. And so I know we support basically the big three in the US is our agreement with BlackBerry. So uh, my office will reach out to you, either Heather or Ginny. And um, I'm excited for, uh, for, for Mark. And Mark, if you want to let us know how it goes, drop us a note in 30 days and let us know what your experience was with the BlackBerry Z10. With that said, uh, g gentlemen, would you like to make some final comments about the further information slide? We're going to go ahead and uh, shut it down. Sure. Thanks, Harry. Uh, thanks again for having us. Sorry for the uh, little mishap with the uh, whole music. But uh, beyond that, we really appreciate uh, being on here and uh, talking to all the SMB Nation folks. And uh, just in conclusion, really kind of think about us as we're going to be the new fastest backup solution on the market space. Uh, I invite everyone to just check out a trial just to see how fast it is um, and how much time and energy you can save in having the fastest backup solution in the cloud as well as on-premise. So um, I invite everyone here who's listening to go to gfimax.com uh, or if you want a shortcut right to the backup solution, the standalone solution, it's backup.gfimax.com. Okay, thank you very much. Well, folks, have a great, great August uh, Thursday. It's the peak of the season in North America, so um, enjoy the rest of the day at work, and be sure to slip in a little vacation time, and we'll see you next week. Thank you very much, and oh, by the way, don't forget we have the fall conference coming up October 10th through 12th, and uh, take a peek at us, fall.smbnation.com with the, uh, the new content. That wraps it up. Thank you very much. Goodbye.